What can be done about the out of control violence in New Orleans? Residents have been growing more and more concerned as crime numbers climb. Well, today, City Council pressed the police chief about the state of the department and possible solutions. Devin Bartoletta has more. New Orleans is grappling with both a serious crime problem and a cop problem. So we are currently staffed at 1,058. Uh, commission personnel. Police Superintendent Sean Ferguson had a tough conversation with City Council Thursday, saying NOPD is struggling to get back to proactive policing, getting about half the applications it used to, and is about 400 officers short of ideal staffing. And the ones that are there are working longer and harder with no relief in sight. It's not a surprise to Rafael Goyaneci, president of the Metropolitan Crime Commission. MCC analysis reveals that since this time in 2019, homicide crimes are up 133%, shootings more than 300%, and carjackings more than 1100%. One terrifying example involving children was caught on camera just last weekend. You have now the new city council saying, wait a minute. We, we need to find out why our crime is surging. Well, it's been surging now for over two years. Residents are so concerned, one woman even started a change.org petition asking the city council to bring in the National Guard. It has more than 2,500 signatures, but not the chief's support. Um, the thought of the National Guard is something that's, came, that's come out in the past few weeks. That is frightening. That is outright frightening to have the military on the streets of the city of New Orleans, in my opinion. I think that is just not a look that mm -hmm. the city of New Orleans would want to have the military patrol in their streets. Or we, uh, I don't think that, that we're that far gone. While NOPD can't rebuild ranks overnight, Goyaneci says one tangible step would be setting aside the obvious tension between NOPD and the district attorney's office, remembering the common goal. I think the fact now that all of this is being aired, even as distasteful as it is, Sometimes you can't fix something till there is a public recognition that there is a problem. Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. Monday, DA Jason Williams and other leaders in the city's criminal justice system will join the council for a similar meeting looking for ways to curb the violence.